pleasant morning, one and all. And before we start today's ceremonial proceedings, I will call on the Archbishop of Training School to invoke God's presence, Kisi Kasim Bilinji. Good morning to everyone. Can you please stand as we open in prayer? <laughs> Dear God and most righteous Father, Lord, we thank you for sparing our lives to see another day. Lord, we thank you for bringing the RMPS to another, yet another training session, God, recruiting, God. I pray, that God, that you would just have your perfect and divine way over every instructor. I pray, that God, that you would guide them, protect them. I pray that you would help the instructors to deliver to the best of their ability and give the recruits what it takes, the understanding and the input to put what they learn into practice. Lord, I pray to God that you would continue to protect all officers of the RMPS. Keep us safe under your precious blood, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Please be seated. Yes, I would like to say welcome to course number 11, ceremony and swearing ceremony. And I hope that, that everyone is fine this morning and everyone is in the best of health. Without further ado, Honorable Attorney General, Mr. Sh Sherry Jemot Rodney, Honorable Speaker of the Legislative Assembly, Ms. Shalina White, Your Lordship, the Magistrate, Ms. Ivinia Benjamin, VPP, Mr. Harris Sullivan, Commissioner of Police, Mr. Steve Foster, Deputy Commissioner of Police, Mr. Charles Thompson, and he is the commandant of the training school. And we have Superintendent Albert William, the Deputy Commandant of Training School. I also want to acknowledge the presence of the Major of the Royal Montreal Defense Force, Colonel, sorry, Mr. Alvin Ryan, Mistress Chevlin Vernon Williams, Chief Fire Officer, ex-police officers, Fight Gate guests, all ranks and file of the RM. P.S. and of course the family and friends of the recruits and the recruits of course number 11. Welcome. And I will now call on the sergeant of the training school, Sergeant Maxin Lee, to do the territorial song. May we stand as Miss Maxine comes. <laughs> Morning, everyone. No bonds around their motherland. Your children raise your standards high. In toil and tears to serve you with a crown in view from God's hand. O Montserrat, by nature blessed to you, your children see. Friend of all, to you, your people, please. I thank you.
what, what a lovely voice. See, in the police, we have multi talented people, and you all can see that. I also want to acknowledge the presence of the of GIU and the persons representing the media platform. Now we move on to the official welcome, and that will be from the Deputy Commissioner of Police and the Commandant of the Training School, Mr. Charles Thompson. My apologies, the Commandant. The names are so close, Deputy and <laughs> Commandant. So it's Mr. So the, the official welcome would be the Deputy Superintendent Albert Williams. Morning, everyone. So, Chair, please allow me to adopt your established protocol. But however, I will just love to add to your protocol our own ex superintendent of police, Mr. Faithful Redock. Thank you, sir, for being here with us this morning. My task here this morning is to give the official welcome. But before I go into my major task, I would just like to welcome all of you and invited guests here to be with us today. But my welcome will be focusing on our new recruits. Now, on behalf of the Commissioner of Police, all rank and file of the Royal Montserrat Police Service, Montserrat Fire and Rescue Service, and the Montserrat community, it is my extreme pleasure to officially welcome all of our overseas recruits to the Emerald Isle of Montserrat. And holistically, let me welcome all members of post number 11 to this new family, the RMPS and MF. Now, I am sure that you have given some serious thought to leave your country, your family, and friends to be here with us today. I know that some of you also gave up your jobs to be part of the Royal Montreal Police Service. I can testify to this because 32 plus years ago, I made that decision. The Deputy Commissioner of Police, Mr. Charles Thompson, made that decision. Before that, Inspector Attila Bowden made that decision. And before that, Mr. Redock and others made that decision to leave St. Vincent and the Grenadines to be here today. Now, that is testimony of your strength and courage to do what you believe is in the best of your interest. However, nothing comes in life easy. There will be challenges, but it's how you as the individual deal with those challenges that will be key to your success. I can safely say that all of you here today are about to be sworn into an organization which value your welfare and your service. The RMPS and Montserrat Fire and Rescue Services is now your new family. And for those of you from overseas, Montserrat, your new home. Today, history is in the making. And I would like to give a special welcome to Miss Nellene Williams. Please stand to recognize Miss Williams. Face the audience. I know some of you may be wondering why did Albert Williams testify Miss Williams? 
Do not make the name confuse you. It is nothing about the name. Miss Williams, in a few minutes from now, after taking that oath, will make history the first female from St. Vincent and the Grenadines to join the Royal Montserrat Police Service. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> now, as history continues, let's ask course number 11 to stand and face the audience. Again, this batch, course number 11, will be the first set of officers in Montserrat to take the oath of our sovereign, the king. That's history again. Let's give them a round of applause. You can be seated and make yourself comfortable now, Officer Kubi. Now, course 11 is a special course, so you all make the best of it, because you all will be written in the history of Montserrat to be the first female officer and the first to take the oath of the king. Finally, as you embark on your new career, I would like to encourage you to stay focused in everything that you do. Ask questions when in doubt. Be polite and cautious to your seniors, your peer, and the community of Montserrat people of Montserrat who you serve. They are our clients. We are working for them. We are working to protect them, to serve them, and to give them justice. So I want you to remember that. So again, I welcome all of you to the Royal Montserrat Police Service, the Montserrat Fire and Rescue Service, and I wish you all the best throughout your journey. I thank you. I believe um, Mr. Williams did a good job to welcome and to acknowledge those persons and the history that has been made today. And as history has been made, we will continue with the commandant, Mr. Charles Thompson, who is, who we're going to do the overview of training and Mr. Will, Mr. Thompson himself, he's a Vincentian by birth. So let's welcome. The, deputy, the commandant of the training school and the deputy commissioner of police, Mr. Charles Thompson. Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much, Mr. Martin, our ceremony. <clears throat> the Royal Montserrat Police Service is commencing its 11th recruitment training since it took the bold step to do so locally in 2009. To date, we have trained 76 officers over this 13-year period. This class of 2022 comprises nine recruits, six males, three females. To measure the success of the program, one must consider efficiency and effectiveness of the officers in carrying out their duties. Hence, the training takes into account this critical factor to model our recruits into officers who are capable of delivering as members of the police service. The work of the police must meet the threshold of what the law prescribes. Within this framework, there must be consideration to meet the public's expectation. In developing this training program, it was necessary to consider current policing methods, 
which will address the needs of the Montserrat community and all who visit our shores. The command of the training center is headed by the commissioner of police as the director of training. He is supported by deputy commissioner, superintendent, inspector of HR, and the HR staff. The daily administration and operations of the training center are governed by the standing order and disciplinary regulations, which outlines the code of conduct expected by the recruits. The objective is to maintain individual and collective discipline. The recruits will be required to read and sign these documents with the understanding that they are committed to uphold these regulations. Training courses will be delivered by both current and former police officers and members of our community. Let me take this opportunity to express sincere thanks to all the persons who have supported the program over the years and continue to do so. The recruitment program starts with a process geared towards selecting potential candidates who show the right aptitude to be trained as police officers. This includes the submission of an application, interviews of medical examinations. Over the next five months, they will be exposed to both academic and practical areas of policing to include policing duties, powers of arrest, classification of offenses, methods of investigations, and community policing. Recruits will be assessed on the materials taught throughout the course in the form of written exams. This will provide an opportunity to understand the level of learning and to take the necessary steps to ensure that they understand the material. Case studies and practical assignments will be administered throughout to support learning and aid in the development of teamwork and other practical policing skills. Physical training is also an integral part of the program. It is important to note that the completion of this initial training does not signal the completion of the officer's training and development. It is a continuous process over the life of their policing career. I take every opportunity to remind recruits that after over 30 years service, I am still learning. At the conclusion of the training, officers will be further assessed during their three year probationary period. To the recruits, let me take this opportunity to wish you well in your initial training. Work hard, be committed to the process, and you will be successful. I can assure you that you will be given the necessary support by the organization. Thank you. Deputy Commandant, um, mentioned that when he made the journey. I, I also made that journey over 32 years ago. And when I made that journey, the Deputy Commander, Mr. Williams, and the Commandant, Mr. Thompson, they were and they are still my brothers. We work together. In training school, I had a broken finger. Then the training, physical training for three months. And Mr. Williams, used to wash for me. He used to clean my shoes. He used to iron for me. This is the type of camaraderie, camaraderie we had. The only thing I did not allow him to do was to scrub my skin. <laughs> and we were in Barbados and I had a reserve a reservation <laughs> about that. So I'm just saying that you all need to have that bond also. And in policing, we refer it, we refer to it as the esprit de corps, meaning that the animating spirit of a collective body. 
I will now ask the Honorable Speaker of the Legislative Assembly, Assembly, Ms. Charlene White, to deliver the featured address. And the featured address is, um, the theme is developing law enforcement in a modern society. Let's please welcome the Honorable Speaker, Ms. Charlene White. Good morning, and thank you for inviting me back. I was just here a few weeks ago, and it is a pleasure to be here and to be greeting the new recruits. Today is my first time. I hope it will not be my last. And I want to thank the officer for establishing the protocol, because I really think that I would have watched it, um, trying to keep up with everybody that I'm seeing right here this morning. I want to welcome everyone who is sitting here. And for those who are listening in Radio Land, the ZJB, or are viewing online. Society who makes war with its police must be prepared to make peace with its criminals. By its very nature, your job is not easy. You are tasked with being keepers of the peace protectors of our freedoms and democratic rights, the implementers of our laws, and the shield which allows us to live, work, re and retire in a country where we need not fear for our lives at every turn. Today, you are being inducted into an institution whose history stems back from February 27, 1967. The baton has been successfully passed on all these years, and it is now your turn to join with your fellow officers to protect it and to conduct yourselves in such a manner that it is preserved at a high standard for the generations which will follow you. It is important that you understand and never forget that this job and your uniform gives you your authority, but it is your behavior which will give you your respect. I'm going to repeat it again. I want you to never forget that this job and your uniform will give you your authority, but it is your behavior that will give you your respect. In your line of work, you will encounter some terrible situations. You will be challenged, and people will push your buttons. However, it is your duty to always keep a level head. And a level head does not mean being docile or passive. It means to have the ability to quickly assess a situation, apply sound judgment, and de-escalate while enforcing the law, while maintaining your composure. Yes, I know, this sounds like utopia. But when our best selves are itching to break free, as the authority in the situation, your best self must show up always. Sometimes it will take all of the discipline you have acquired during your training, and if you are praying people, the covering of God to allow you to rise above lots of messy situations. Never allow yourself to be so overcome that you become the thing you hate nor are fighting against. Don't become the criminals nor the offenders. Police officers who abuse citizens, the law, or disrespect their oaths erode the public's confidence in law enforcement. Thus, making the job of good police officers that more difficult. Let me also encourage you to foster good relationships, sorry, with the citizens of this country. I was reminded the other day that police officers are not always in confrontations with the law or those who break it. 
but are also willing to lend a helping hand whenever it is needed, whether it is helping an elderly citizen or rescuing a ball for a young child. Whatever it is, find ways to build good rapport with the people you serve. You, as an individual, should be the best possible model of good citizenship and the best possible representation for your profession. It is you who gets to decide the picture you will paint, the story you will tell about yourself and about your line of work. I urge you to determine the legacy you wish to leave behind. Determine in your mind the type of officer you will become. Be resolute and unwavering in your duty to the law, to your oath, yourself, and to this country. And if ever you choose, you have to choose, sorry, between being liked or being respected, I hope you choose respect because that will live long after you have departed this place. I wanna say a big congratulations to you for making it this far and wish you all the very best as you embark on your training. May your time here in our beautiful island be one that is well spent. Congratulations. Continue with the program. And I'm gonna ask the Commissioner of Police, Mr. Steve Foster, to come as he will do the introduction of the recruits and the taking of the oath. I will call the names of the recruits. You will then proceed to the mic, introduce yourself, where you're from, after which the commissioner will administer the oath. Once the commissioner would administer the oath, you will sign the form. Without any further ado, I now call on Mr. Steve Foster. Good morning. Do you swear or affirm? Can you raise your right hand, please? I, Linton Victor, do solemnly and sincerely declare and affirm that I will well and truly serve our sovereign king as a member of the Royal Montserrat Police Service without favor or affection Malice or, ill will, Malice or ill will, and I will, and I will cause, his majesty's peace cause his majesty's peace to be preserved, to be preserved. and will prevent, I will prevent to, the utmost of my power, to the utmost of my power offenses against the same, offenses against the same and, that, and that during any time, during any time that, I do, that I do or may hereafter, or may hereafter hold any appointment in the, police service, in the police service, I will, I will to, the best of my knowledge and to, skill, to the best of my knowledge and skill, discharge all duties thereof, discharge all duties thereof faithfully, faithfully, according to law, according to law I, do affirm. I do affirm. Go ahead, my brother. Rajay Jackson. Do you swear or affirm? Affirm. Raise your right hand, please. I, Rajay Jackson. I, Rajay Jackson. 
do sincerely declare and affirm do sincerely declare and affirm that I will well and truly serve that I will well and truly serve our sovereign king our sovereign king as a member of the Royal Montserrat Police Service as a member of the Royal Montserrat Police Service without favor or affection without favor or affection malice or ill will malice or ill will and that I and that I will cause his majesty's peace will cause his majesty's peace to be preserved to be preserved and will and will prevent prevent to the utmost of my power to the utmost of my power offenses against the same offenses against the same and that and that during any time during any time that i do that i do or may hereafter or may hereafter hold any appointment hold any appointment in the police service in the police service i will i will to the best of my knowledge and skill to the best of my knowledge and skill discharge all duties thereof discharge all duties thereof faithfully faithfully according to law according to law i do affirm i do affirm Keston Thomas, recruit constable number 16. Do you swear or affirm? I affirm. Say after me, please. Yes, sir. I, Keston Thomas. I, Keston Thomas. Do sincerely declare and affirm. Do sincerely de uh, declare and affirm. That I will well and truly serve. That I will well and truly serve. Our sovereign king, our sovereign king, as a member of the Royal Montserrat Police Service, as a member of the Royal Montserrat Police Service, without favor or affection, without favor or affection, malice or ill will, malice or ill will, and that I will, and that I will, cause His Majesty's peace, cause His Majesty's peace to be preserved, to be preserved, and will, and will prevent. Prevent to the utmost of my power, to the utmost of my power, offenses against the same, offenses against the same, and that, and that, during, during, any time, any time, that I do, that I do, or may hereafter, or may hereafter, hold any appointment, hold any appointment, in the police service, in the police service, I will, I will, to the utmost of my power, to the utmost of my power, Sorry. Sorry. To the utmost of my power. To the utmost of my power. Offense prevent. Offense prevent. Offenses against the same. Offenses against the same. I will, to the best of my knowledge and skill. I will, to the best of my knowledge and skill. Discharge all duties thereof. Discharge all duties thereof. Faithfully. Faithfully. According to law. According to law. I do affirm. I do affirm. Jameson Greenaway, police constable number 25. Do you swear or affirm? Affirm, sir. Say after me. I... Jameson Greenaway. I, Jameson Greenaway. Do solemnly declare and affirm. Do solemnly declare and affirm. That I will well and truly serve. That I will well and truly serve. Our sovereign king. Our sovereign king. As a member of the Royal Montserrat Police Service. As a member of the Royal Montserrat Police Service. Without favor or affection. Without favor or affection. And will and will cause cause his majesty's peace to be preserved his majesty's peace to be preserved and will and will prevent prevent to the utmost of my power to the utmost of my power offenses against the same offenses against the same and that and that during during any time any time that i that i do do or may hereafter, or may hereafter, hold any appointment, 
hold any appointment in the police service in the police service i will i will to the best of my knowledge and skill to the best of my knowledge and skill discharge all duties thereof discharge all duties thereof faithfully faithfully according to law according to law i do affirm i do affirm May I have Mr. Thomas again, RPC number, 13, number 16? Raise your right hand and say after me. I, Kempson Thomas, I, Kes I, Keston, Thomas, I Keston Thomas, do solemnly and sincerely declare and affirm, do solemnly and sincerely, sincerely declare and, and affirm, affirm that I will well and truly serve that I will well and truly serve our sovereign king, our sovereign king, as a member of the Royal Montserrat Police Service, as a member of the Royal Montserrat Police Service, without favor or affection, without favor or affection, malice or ill will, malice or ill will, and will, and will, cause His Majesty's peace, cause His Majesty's peace to be preserved, to be preserved, and will, and will. Prevent, prevent to the utmost of my power, to the utmost of my power, offenses against the same, offenses against the same, and that, and that during any time, during any time, and that I do, and that I do, or may hereafter, or may hereafter, hold any appointment, hold any appointment in the police service, in the police service, I will, I will. To the best of my knowledge and skill, to the best of my knowledge and skill, discharge all duties thereof, discharge all duties thereof, faithfully, faithfully, according to law, according to law, I do, I, I do affirm. Shane Farrell, woman police constable, fifty-five. Do you swear or affirm? I, Shane Farrell, I, Shane Farrell, do sincerely declare and affirm, do sincerely declare and affirm, that I will well and truly serve, that I will well and truly serve, our sovereign king, our sovereign king, as a member of the Royal Montserrat Police Service, as a member of the Royal Poli Montserrat Police Service, without favor or affection, without favor or affection, malice or ill will, malice or ill will, and that I will cause, that I will cause, his Majesty's peace to be preserved. His Majesty's peace to be preserved. And will. And will. Prevent. Prevent. To the utmost of my power. To the utmost of my power. Offenses against the same. Uh, offenses against the same. And that. And that. During any time. During any time. That I do. That I do. Or may hereafter. Or may hereafter. Hold any appointment. Hold any appointment. In the police service. In the police service. I will. To the best of my knowledge and skill. To the best of my knowledge and skill. Discharge all duties thereof. Discharge all duties thereof. Faithfully. Faithfully. According to law. According to law. I do affirm. I do affirm. Gerald Douglas, police constable number 62. You swear or affirm? Affirm, sir. Say after me, please. I, Gerald Douglas. I, Gerald Douglas. Do sincerely and de declare and affirm. Do sincer sincerely declare, declare and, and affirm, affirm. That I will well and truly serve. That I will well and truly serve. Our sovereign king. Our sovereign king. As a member of the Royal Montserrat Police Service. As a member of the Royal Montserrat Police Service. Without favor or affection. Without favor or affection. Malice or ill will. Malice or ill will. And that I will. And that I will. Cause His Majesty's peace. Cause His Majesty's peace. To be preserved. To be preserved. And will. And will. Prevent. Prevent. To the utmost of my power. To the utmost of my power. Offenses against the same. Offenses against the same. And that, and that, 
during any time during any time that I do that I do or may hereafter or may hereafter hold any appointment hold any appointment in the police service in the police service I will I will to the best of my knowledge and skill to the best of my knowledge and skill discharge all duties thereof discharge all duties thereof faithfully faithfully according to law according to law I do affirm I do affirm Eileen Williams, Woman Constable Number Sixty-Three. Do you swear or affirm? Affirm. Say after me, please. I, Nellyn Williams. I, Nellyn Williams. Do sincerely declare and affirm. Do sincerely declare and affirm that I will well and truly serve. That I will well and truly serve. Our sovereign King. Our sovereign King. As a member of the Royal Montserrat Police Service. As a member of the Royal Montserrat Police Service. Without favor or affection. Without favor or affection. Malice or ill will. Malice or ill will. And that I. And that I. Will cause. Will cause. His Majesty's peace to be preserved. His Majesty's peace to be preserved. And will. And will. Prevent. Prevent. To the utmost of my power. To the utmost of my power. Offenses against the same. Offenses against the same. And that. And that during during any time any time that I do that I do or may hereafter or may hereafter hold any appointment hold any appointment in the police service in the police service I will I will to the best of my knowledge and skill to the best of my knowledge and skill discharge all duties thereof discharge all duties thereof faithfully faithfully according to law according to law I do affirm I do affirm. Crystal Augustine Ogis, sorry. Crystal Ogis. Forgive my police constable number sixty seven. Swear or affirm. Affirm. Say after me. I Crystal Ogis. I Crystal Ogis. Do solemnly and sincerely declare and affirm. Do solemnly, sincerely, and affirm. I, Crystal Ogis. I, Crystal Ogis. Do solemnly, sincerely declare and affirm. Do solemnly, sincerely. Solemnly, sincerely declare sincerely and affirm. Sincerely and affirm. That I will well and truly serve. That I will well and truly serve. Our sovereign king. Our sovereign king. As a member. As a member of the Royal Montserrat Police Service. Of the Royal Montserrat Police Service. Without favor. Without favor. Or affection. Or affection. Malice. Malice. Or ill will. Or ill will. And that I. And that I. Will cause. Will cause. His Majesty's peace. His Majesty's peace. To be preserved. To be preserved. And will. And will. Prevent. Prevent. To the utmost of my power. To the utmost of my power. Offenses against the same. Offenses against the same. And that. And that. During. During. Any time. Any time. That I do. That I do. Or may hereafter. Or may hereafter. Hold any appointment. Hold any appointment. In the police service. In the police service. I will. I will. To the best. To the best. Of my knowledge and skill my knowledge and skill discharge discharge all duties all duties thereof thereof faithfully faithfully according to law according to law I do affirm I do affirm Donrick George Police Constable number 90 Swear or affirm. Affirm. I, Donrick George. I, Donrick George. Do solemnly and do, sincerely. Do solemnly and sincerely. Declare and affirm. Declare and affirm. That I. That I. Will well and truly serve. That I will well and truly serve. Our sovereign king. Our sovereign king. As a member. As a member. 
Royal Mansra Police Service. Royal Mansra Police Service. Without favor. Without favor. Or affection. Or affection. Malice. Malice. Or ill will. Or ill will. And that I will. And that I will. Cause. Cause. His Majesty's peace. His Majesty peace. To be preserved. To be preserved. And will. And will. Prevent. Prevent. To the utmost of my power. To the utmost of my power. Offenses against the same. Offenses against the same. And that. And that. During. During. Any time. Any time. That I. That I. Do. Do. Or may hereafter. Or may hereafter. Hold any appointment. Hold any appointment. In the police service. In the police service. I will. I will. To the best. To the best. Of my knowledge and skill. Of my knowledge and skill. Discharge all duties thereof. To discharge all duties thereof. Faithfully. Faithfully. According to law. According to law. I do affirm. I do affirm. That brings us to the end of the ceremony of um, swearing in the officers. They are now sworn in as police officers. However, at this stage, we will be feeding them with milk until we get them to the stage of being full-blown police officers that could discharge their duties fully as their oaths have been done. Let me accept the protocol that was established and um, I would abbreviate my speech and um, highlight just a number of words and phrases which I would like to bring to our young officers' attention as many of the other areas that I would have wanted to touch on or client base, customer focus, or mission or vision and other aspects have been touched already by other speakers, so I would not go over them. So I would implore on you, as I spell out the word police, service, and RMPS, and I'll use words and or phrases to highlight um, that acronym. Professionalism. Act professionally at all times. Do not let your personal feelings or who the individual is dictate your level of response or action. Each person is a client of the police and must be given the same level of quality of service. Take some pride. Take pride in yourself and the organization you are serving in. Let whatever action you take, either in your private life and or on, your, on the organization's behalf that you will be proud of the actions and be proud to be judged by it. Have some passion. Have passion and love. Have some passion. Have passion and love for the job and what you do. If you ever lose the passion, the love, the commitment for policing, please take some reflective time alone and refocus. It is very important to always have a love for what you are doing. Also have personal awareness. O, organization awareness. Be objective, be open-minded, be optimistic. We are dealing with, we are in a legal environment, so anything we do must be legal. And as I highlighted before, we must love the job, love ourselves, love our organization, and also be in love with people. There must be some loyalty, and we must show integrity, and our jobs is intelligence-led. See, 
let us be committed, personal commitment of the pastor and the other. Tend to one goal, thinking that bring a balance your goal and the individual goal. Communication. Communication is key in every sphere of life. In a police organization, effective communication at all levels is critical to the delivery of the service. Be a good communicator. Communication travels in both directions. Also be a good listener. Listening is also important in the art of communication. Excellence, always strive for excellence. Continuous improvement, lifelong learning, and continuous education is important to keep an organization and its employee always on the cutting edge. Always seek to improve yourself by exposing yourself to learning opportunities. Think about equity, equality, eagerness, enthusiasm, and expectation. Sincerity, supportiveness, synergy, self-awareness, steadfast. We also look at evidence-based ethics. And you must be reasonable, responsible, reliable, rational, and develop relationships. Let's all be vigilant. Let's think about the organizational values, your values, and the values of the Montserrat community. Look at our vision. We also have to be impartial, intelligence-based, take initiatives, inspire oneself, and inspire others. And we must have integrity. There's the constitution that governs us. We have to have a con conscious of our surroundings, and we must also be effective. And as a body, we must be together, and that's where we call it Exprit before. We must have some respect, develop self-respect, and treat each person you come into contact with with respect. Be a role model. Understand your role within the Royal Montserrat Police Service and your role within the Montserrat community. Accept responsibility and act responsibly. We have a mission. Also, we expect you to be moderate. Look at your morals and the morals of the organization. Be mindful of your environment and be modest. Have a purpose. Have pride. Be positive. Be proactive and strive towards perfection. Service. You are called to a life of service. A service to others which will, you will deliver to everyone you come into contact with fairly and without favor as was outlined in your oath you took. Treat each person as a client or a customer of the police service. Your client deserves the highest quality service, whether that person is seeking advice, making a report to the police, and or being arrested by the police. Let your client leave you saying that you did a good job, whether they were on the wrong side of the law or on the right side of the law. You must, no matter what the reason a person comes into contact with the police, he or she should leave feeling happy that the police treated him or her professionally, fairly, equitably, legally, within the laws of Montserrat. I thank you very much. I now declare Course 11 open. You would have heard it from the Commissioner of Police, and he spoke on Code of Conduct, Victim Charter, Mission, Vision, everything. And as you go by, we will remind you of it. Now that the Commissioner of Police has declared Course 11 open, I will leave a few quotes with you, Course 11. 
Winston Churchill said, the truth is so precious that she must always be attended by a bodyguard of lies. And he also said that speaking the truth is like drinking a glass of water. I must warn you against ill discipline. And as the years goes by, I would have picked up on things I should have done as the training instructor. So every year, I advance. So I am saying to you, I must warn you against ill discipline. There is a Frenchman. I love him. His coat is, and his name is Holy, Holy, and he says that. You cannot teach a man anything. You can only help him find it within himself. So what we are going to do, we are going to help you find the, the, the training within yourself, what you should do, procedures, and how you should actually do policing. So that is what we are going to do. And I will leave with you my own quote. It's original. And my quote is for training school, I do not cook when I'm hungry. I cook for when I'm hungry. So whatever you make of it, just remember, do not cook when you're hungry. You must cook so that when you're hungry, you can eat. I hope you understand the interpretation of that. Before I proceed, I would just like to acknowledge the training staff. The training staff, Miss Lee, Miss um, Campbell, Mr. Dale Flesh, and we have other instructors there, lecturers, Mr. Fenton, Antoine, who else? Thomas, you have um, Mr. Rodney, you have our swimming instructor, Mr. Sullivan, Mr. Williams, Mr. Thompson. We have a lot of instructors in there. And before I end, I would like to also acknowledge the presence of Mr. Roach, Mr. Bennett Roach from the reporter, Montreal reporter, and also Mr. Kalai Jubri, Pico. We can call on Mr. Pico at any time to do anything, almost everything, and Mr. Pico will do it. So just want to acknowledge the presence of Mr. Pico, Mr. Kalai Jubri, and who else? What's that for me to? Ally Williams, sorry, my apologies. Yes, um, we will now, I will now ask on Ms. Campbell to give the vote of thanks. Pleasant morning to all. I will accept the protocol already established, and on the behalf of the Commission of Police, rank and file of the RMPS, it is my privilege to say thank you to all our invited guests. To the Honorable Speaker, Ms. White, to the Honorable Attorney General for taking the time out and being here and sharing partaking this event. To our guest speaker, Ms. Harleen White, for your resounding message not only to our new officers, but to everyone present. I hope that the officers understand the importance of the message as they begin their new career. Thank you, and we are looking forward to strengthening our relationship with you. To you, the recruits, recruits of Course 11, thank you for choosing to be a part of this noble institution, the RMPS, and to serve the Montserrat community. Kindly wear your uniform with pride, integrity, carry out your duties with confidentiality and honesty. Again, I say thanks to the business, to the business manager and her staff for the, all the hard work she put in to ensure the course has a successful start and completion. To the general office staff and Mr. Damani Armstrong, thank you for your assistance in issuing the kits and supplies needed. To the cooks who would have thus far served such delicious meals to our recruits, thank you. 
to the cleaning staff for assisting us and ensuring that we have a clean environment to operate in. Thank you. To the training team. It is a daunting task to be teaching our young officers and their failure will rest upon our shoulders. Not just the training staff, but us as officers for the examples in which we will, let, we will set for them to, exam, to, manip, to, to follow. As the training staff go forward, we hope and ensure that it is with all due diligence and pride, we carry out our duties. Special thanks to Mr. Williams, to the Montserrat Radio Station, to our own technical team, Officer Morris and Mr. Belinji, and also for giving such a resounding prayer this morning. Once again, thanks for all the effort and your time in coming here and making this event a special occasion. And we hope to see you as we partake and rebuild a community relationship. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. And to the family of the recruits, also say thank you. And I also want to say a special thank you to Miss the Honorable Speaker, Shalina White. She did mention she came here a few weeks ago, and when she came, it's the first person, the first speaker in the history of the RMPS I saw come to the police, and she wanted to see us, and basically, she came and she said, thank you. I have never seen it before, and it, it, it tells a lot. The honorable speaker came and saw us, and she said, thank you. So I want to say thank you also. We have some snacks. Yes, we're going to take some, we're going to take a few pictures and so on with the, the team. And anyone who wants to take pictures with us, and after that we will move on to the serving of some refreshment. So once again, thank you and thank you for coming. <laughs>